श्री जयदेव गल्ला जी जयदेव गल्ला जी जयदेव गल्ला ठीक है सर अब क्या करते प्लीज सर डॉ बैठे करते हैं यू कैन स्टार्ट thank you thank you speaker sir and sir since i have a very short amount of time i'd ask you to start my time from now please sir thank you for giving me this opportunity to speak on the final full fledged budget of this government and of this 17th lok sabha sir the budget speech started with a self congratulatory note that india has successfully overcome the troubles that came with covid It is true because the economy has nearly recovered what was lost. Thank you. Restarted what has paused and re-energized what had slowed during the pandemic, the Russia-Ukraine conflict and the subsequent geopolitical situations and the ongoing monetary tightening that we're seeing in the United States and other advanced countries. So it's a tightrope walk and I com- compliment the honorable finance minister for her balancing act. or a gut wrenching situation sir the budget has both hits and misses from what i can tell the hits if i may so so if i may say so include things such as 10% increase in the gross tax collections 33% increase in capital expenditure of 10 lakh crores which comes to 3.3% of gdp and if you add add in grant in aids given to states it comes to 13.7 lakh crores or 4.5% of gdp 2.4 lakh crores noteworthy increase for the railways an 11% increase in agricultural credit target a 66% increase in the pmay for more focus on tier 2 and tier 3 cities income tax relief for the middle class 74% increase for the swachh bharat mission and 157 nursing colleges to be attached to 157 medical colleges to be set up by the government of india but sir there are some misses as well a few i'll just uh, noteworthy misses include reducing i think many members have mentioned this reducing the narega allocation to 60000 crores from nearly 90000 crores in the revised estimates of 2022 23 reducing the allocation for the national health mission from 37000 crores in the budget estimates of 2223 to 36787 crores reducing the allocation for pm food processing enterprises to 639 crores from the 2324 from 900 crores in 2223 reduction in allocation for pm kisan to 60000 crores against 68000 crores this fiscal sir before i proceed with my observations on the budget and giving my suggestions on various proposals i wish to first focus on what this budget is for my state of andhra pradesh sir sir this budget and the honorable finance minister have disappointed the people of ap once again sir the issues are many but i wish to touch upon the most important ones in view of time constraint sir i've been making this speech now for 9 years and i'm sorry to say that i've had to repeat myself year after year after year because none of the provisions have been fully fulfilled and deadline is fast approaching sir sir i am deeply perplexed as to where i should start from should i start from what the ap government has been doing since 2019 or should i start with what the government of india has been doing to ap since 2014 I think this is uh, something that you know it requires much more time unfortunately I don't have that at my disposal Sir AP has been receiving empty promises and scant allocations since the bifurcation of the state in 2014 In this budget the finance minister has given 5300 crores to the upper Bhadra national irrigation project in Karnataka but nothing has been given for Polavaram which is a national project and has been pending for so many years this is the first disappointment for ap sir 
I would not say much on Polavaram since the government of India and the Jal Shakti Ministry knows every single detail of it. I would only request the finance minister for approving the second revised cost estimates of 55,657 crores and release the pending dues to Andhra Pradesh, which they've already spent, sir. <coughs> Even though the finance minister allocated 8,406 crores for the railways in AP, taking up 72 stations in AP to be developed as world-class stations, it, in, introduction of Vande Bharat to Vizak, giving 1,040 crores for Guntur Guntakal and Guntur Bibi Nagar doubling projects, etc. There's no mention about the establishment of the new railway zone for AP, sir. This is also a promise that is long pending and has been made several times in this house by several ministers, sir. Sir, the piecemeal announcements or allocations do not work, sir. I agree that 10 crores has been allocated to the new railway zone, but there is no announcement when the new zone would come up and become functional. There is no mention about it either in the President's address or in the budget. Even the Railways Minister has not announced anything on this in his post-budget press briefings. This is the second big disappointment for Andhra Pradesh, sir. Sir, the Finance Minister had given 23,260 crores for four metro projects in 21-22. The Government of India spent huge amount for Bangalore, Chennai, Cochin, Nagpur, Nashik metro rail projects. And the Bangalore metro was given 14,700 crores and 19,000 was given for metros, other metros in 2022-23. But there is no mention, sir, about Vijayawada and Vishakapatnam, which is a mandate which, you know, both of these metros have been committed in the AP Reorganization Act, and there's no mention in this budget also, sir. Rather, since 2014, nothing has been done in this regard. So this is the third big disappointment for our state, sir. Sir, on the one hand, Government of India says there are no states with special category status, post the 14th Finance Commission's recommendation. I don't want to go into details, since the 14th Finance Commission never recommended not giving SCS to AP or any other state for that matter. But in the 2022-23 budget, government has given back IGST to the tune of 3,631 crores for SCS states for SCS states, sir, they still exist, you know, uh, as incentive for industrial development. And in this budget, the Honorable Finance Minister has allocated 1,814 crores for this purpose. If SCS is given to AP, special category status, it will also be benefited, sir, we are a new state with no capital and no industrial base to speak of. So many institutions are, have been left behind in the... Uh, in the uh, uh, Telangana uh, state, none, none of the very few institutions are there in our state. None of the provisions of the AP Reorganization Act are being met, and even here, the SCS is being denied to us, sir. The Honorable Finance Minister has, re has reduced allocation to RINL also, Vizac Steel Plant also, sir. In 2022-23, <coughs> Government of India allocated 910 crores as budget estimate, and this has been reduced to 683 crores in 23-24. This is the fifth big disappointment for Andhra Pradesh, sir. Sir, if one looks at Section 93 of the AP Reorganization Act, it says, and I quote, the central government shall take all necessary measures as enumerated in the 13th schedule for the progress and sustainable development of the successor states. Sir, I'll, I'll conclude. Just give me two minutes and I'll conclude, sir. sir uh, the central government shall take all necessary measures as enumerated in the 13th schedule for the progress and sustainable development of the successor state within a period of 10 years from the appointed day, sir. And the appointed day is uh, fast approaching. The appointed day will be from 2nd June 2014. That means by 2nd June 2024. This is the final budget before that date is coming, full final budget. The next budget is only going to be vote on account. This is the final chance for this government to allocate funds to fulfill what is in this AP Reorganization Act passed by this House in 2014 with deadline coming up on 2nd June 2024, sir. Sir, I'm just uh, getting to the end, sir. Just give me one minute, I'll conclude, sir. We're at the fag end of reaching this 10 years 
but not even one of the 17 items mentioned under the 13th schedule has been completely fulfilled, sir. This is the sixth disappointment for the people of Andhra Pradesh, sir. Every single member from AP, cutting across party lines, has been raising their voice since 2014 for conferring special category status to Andhra Pradesh. Elections in AP and for Lok Sabha are not far off, sir. The Beach AP government still has time to rectify this mistake and implement the decisions of the Union Cabinet taken on the 1st March 2014. I'm only appealing to the Honorable Prime Minister that he has the final chance of the saving the mother, which he has assured during the election campaign in AP in 2014. But there's nothing in this budget which is the biggest disappointment okay. for AP, sir. So I'm coming to my final conclusion, sir. Thank you. Thank you. I'll just conclude, sir. Sir, I once again appeal to the Finance Minister, the Home Minister, and the Prime, Man Prime Minister to respect the commitments made in the AP Reorganization Act 2014, passed by this Parliament, and provide sufficient funds to fulfill all of its provisions in full before the deadline Thank of 2nd June okay, 2021. Okay, okay. You Thank said. you, sir. Do you want to add anything to Kanji? Yes. Only a small clarification, sir. Yes. That the ये जब मंत्री थे और दूसरी बात ये है कि कोरोना में जो है पूरी भारतीय जनता पार्टी प्रधानमंत्री जी के नेतृत्व में और अमित शाह जी के नेतृत्व में सभी लोग हम लोग रोड पर थे सर इसीलिए कोई इसके लिए चैलेंज नहीं ले सकता है आपने किया होगा ओके, ओके। लेकिन हमने श्री अब्दुल समद समाधानी जी हां सर ठीक है सर। क्या एक और डिबेट करानी है डू यू वांट टू बी डिबेटेड जी हां चलिए चलिए बोलिए 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 लैंडल फ्रेंड सेज द एगलावा स्कूल्स वर स्टार्टेड इन द कांग्रेस इट इज नॉट द क्वेश्चन बिफोर द हाउस हु स्टार्टेड द क्वेश्चंस हु स्टार्टेड द स्कूल एगलावा स्कूल हां चलिए ओके ओके इट इज इमटेरियल हु गेव द नेम हाउ इट इज बीइंग ट्रीटेड बाय यू दैट इज द प्रॉब्लम ओके ओके चलिए समाधान दीजिए प्लीज Sir, please. Oh, sir. 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 Sir.